Hi everyone, welcome back to week 11 of Nutrition Bites. All right, so today we are going to talk about energy bites, which are a fun snack to make ahead and have on hand. Okay, so we'll talk about the ingredients in this recipe, then I'll share a Energy Bites blueprint for making your own. Uh, and then we'll also talk about some healthy snack tips, as well as choosing a protein powder, and then the weekly challenge. All right, so this is the recipe that I like to make for Energy Bites. Uh, it includes bananas, almond butter, you could use any other type of nut butter or seed butter. Um, and then oats, and then I do include chocolate protein powder, but this is optional. So if you aren't going to do protein powder, I would just do a little bit more of the dry ingredients like the oats and the cocoa powder, just to make the consistency the same. Okay, so here is a kind of a blueprint for making energy bites. I love energy bites because they're really versatile. You can make tons of different flavors um, just to have that variety. So when you're doing this, there's kind of some basic ingredients that you should include each time, not only for flavor and texture, but also just to provide variety and increase the nutrients in the energy bites. So kind of the basic ingredient groups in most energy balls are, or energy bites, are grains or flours, uh, fruit, whether fresh or dried. So usually it's like bananas or dried dates or raisins, <clears throat> uh, nuts and seeds, and or nuts and seed butter, again, to kind of help hold it together, uh, and then spices and any other add-ins that you want to put in for flavor. So you can make these as simple or as complicated as you want. Um, but the very, very basic ingredients that you should include each time are rolled oats or some sort of grain, um, and then dates or fruit like bananas, nut butter again, and then any other spices. Okay, so because Energy Bites are a snack, I wanted to share a few healthy snack tips, and I think I've shared this in another presentation, so this might be a review if you've heard it before. But when you're making or choosing snacks, I want you to think of the phrase produce plus protein. This means having a fruit or a vegetable, so the produce component, plus some protein. And this will help to ensure um, Nutri nu different nu nutrients as well as um, helping to keep you full and satiated until your next meal. So if you just munch on a fruit or a vegetable, while that's great, you might feel yourself getting hungry a lot quicker. So adding in the protein um, can help to curb those feelings of hunger. So some balanced snack examples include that fall into this produce plus protein, I protein idea are carrots and hummus, leftover scrambled tofu with veggies, celery and peanut butter, grapes and almonds, or roasted chickpeas and blueberries. And in the article version of this, I'll include a PDF document of many more ideas that you can kind of pick and choose from this produce plus protein idea. Okay, so as I mentioned before, protein powder in the recipe that I provided is optional. You don't have to add it. And while I definitely do think that we should get all of our nutrients from whole plant foods, I think that there can be a place for a protein powder or a protein supplement in an already well-balanced diet. So I would say that make sure your diet at a baseline is healthy, healthy and then consider adding in a protein powder on top of that. And this can be for many different reasons, convenience, access. Um, again, it's not for everyone. So if you feel like a protein powder is appropriate for you and your diet, here are a few tips. So ideally, you should choose a plant-based protein powder. Uh, it can also be helpful to look for a protein powder that contains two or more sources of plant proteins when possible. So this could be like rice or pea or soy protein, but a combination will help to ensure that you're getting all of the essential amino acids. Um, it's not a requirement to have two or more plant protein sources, but it can be a good idea. Um, it's also helpful to look for a short ingredient list, and this will help to minimize any fillers or additives that have been added to the protein powder. Uh, you should also look for one that has low or no added sugars, as well as low or no artificial sweeteners 
or sugar alcohols. And for artificial sweeteners and sugar alcohols, this is really only important if these cause you to have digestive issues. So sometimes these artificial sweeteners can cause some gas and some bloating. So if that's you, I would encourage you to pick one that has small or no amounts of these artificial sweeteners. And similarly, look for one with low that's low in added fiber, such as inulin. Again, only if this causes digestive issues. If you are fine on it and you don't have excess gas or bloating, then that can be a great uh, ingredient to have in it. But if you do have discomfort from it, I would say look for ones with no added fiber or very low in added fiber. All right, so super short and sweet this week. So for the weekly challenge, I want to challenge you to try and make one batch of energy bites this week to have on hand as a snack. Uh, if you're feeling really ambitious, you could make a double or triple batch. You can put these in the freezer um, and they can last for quite a bit of time. And then you can just have them on hand, you know, for the weeks to come. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next week.